So while we're on the topic of Middle Fork River Forest Preserve um, and prairies, can you tell me a little bit, maybe three or four different highlights about Point Pleasant Prairie? Absolutely. Point Pleasant Prairie is one of our most diverse prairies that we have. So Point Pleasant isn't just a prairie. There are different components to it, right? So there's the prairie, there's the wetland. Can you kind of more specifically describe locations since you're out there working in the field a lot? Absolutely. So when you first enter Point Pleasant, you're at that um, that, par that parking lot in the south end. And then as you walk through, you're walking through our parking lot prairie, which is very diverse. It's quite beautiful right now. And then as you make your way up, you come um, to a big old loop. That's what we call our Weber prairie. So say you stick to the um, you stick to the uh, right when you first enter that loop, you are eventually going to come up to um, a tree planting. You'll see um, a whole bunch of tea posts surrounding some trees, and you'll see probably my favorite spot at Point Pleasant. Um, and you'll see some rough blazing star over there. You have some slender bush clover. Um, that's a, uh, it's a short um, legume plant, has a beautiful purple flower to it. And then right next to that, you have this wetland, this whole bunch of sedges and rushes. Um, and then that's home to a whole bunch of waterfowl. I've seen sandhill cranes walking through there, um, get wood ducks, great blue herons, green herons, egrets. Um, I've also seen some bald eagles flying overhead every mm. once in a while, which that's always nice to see. Um, and then right next to that is this kind of hilly area with a whole bunch of oaks. We refer to that as Oak Island, this island of trees in the middle of all of this prairie. Um, we've been opening that up in recent years um, to let more light get into the ground for more oak regeneration. And then as you're walking through, um, again, that main loop in Weber Prairie, you'll see more of the wetland. And then eventually on the west end, there is another rocky knob there, you know, slight hill. Um, careful if you're walking through there um, at all. Uh, around this time, there is still a lot of tick trefoil seed, which this is the seed that inspired Velcro. So expect to get covered in um, seeds if you're walking through there. And then beyond that, there's actually another wetland. And um, whenever I go through there, I just am in awe of all of the, um, there's little fish and there are frogs and toads hopping everywhere. Um, it, it's, it's very exciting to walk through. 